Hi, I'm First Alert meteorologist Melanie Layden. Did you get a chance to catch the northern lights last night? They put on quite a show across the midstate with some beautiful purples and greens, even pinks all across the sky, all over the midstate. It's very rare to see the Aurora Borealis, or better known as the northern lights, this far deep south as Tennessee, but it certainly happened and it could be a once in a lifetime experience for many of us. So here's the reason why we saw them and how the auroras actually form. You may know the Earth has a huge magnetic field around it. And basically what is happening in the solar system to cause the northern lights is called a geomagnetic storm. It's basically a huge storm in the solar system that takes very strong solar wind and it takes charged protons and electrons from the sun and forces them into the Earth's magnetic field. Then in turn, they have to go into the Earth's atmosphere through either the North or South Pole, which is very rare for this to happen. For us here in the Northern Hemisphere, they enter in the North Pole, aka the Northern Lights. It's how they get their nickname. And those protons that go into the Earth's atmosphere actually collide with different molecules in the atmosphere. Things like oxygen that we breathe, nitrogen. And it's that collision that then in turn creates those beautiful colors that we see. And depending on what color you see, it depends on how many kilometers we are in the atmosphere and what kind of molecules they're actually colliding with. Again, as I mentioned, it's a very rare experience, especially for us to see in the south. This usually only happens very far north in the Earth, like northern Canada, Alaska, Iceland, places like that. And it was seen all the way as far south as northern Alabama and Mississippi. So quite a rare event. We probably won't see this again in our lifetime.